Hi guys, Russell here again with our new blog in the series of the five principles of the Enhancers Awareness Program. Over the last couple of blogs we've been talking about the fifth principle that says that um, consciousness is like uh, a, a stone being thrown into the centre of a pond that ripples right through the whole pond and it's that whole idea that there's a core impact that can ripple all through consciousness and and that works for good and for not so good in the sense that when we have something in the center of consciousness that creates waves that then leads to the stressors that we experience in life but at the same time if we can pull that out that then brings about the stillness that once again permeates the whole um, place of consciousness so instead of having to work on every individual aspect of our consciousness in order to try and bring it into balance. This whole principle suggests that all we need to do is to work on one central core element in order to be able to do that. And last week I alluded to the idea that this was desires and I said to you that this time I would look at how it's possible for that to change. Before I do that, let me tell you where I am. I'm in Cotton Tree, uh, right at the mouth of the Maroochydore River. You can just see the river behind me there and I'm only a matter of oh, probably half a kilometre from the mouth of the river and uh, lots of, as you can imagine, um, sailing boards out there today where people are using their, their, uh, the wind that we have today to enjoy the, the water. Anyway, so let's talk about this, this, this core impact on consciousness in the, in the centre of the pool of consciousness. I alluded to it being about desire. And desire is the thing that we most want. For most of us, that's come out of our, our programmed experience in our, in our formative years. So our parents, our domestic environment, our social and cultural environment, that formed our desires. And we learnt cultural desires and social desires and familial desires. And we live our lives unconscious of that. And out of that arises a whole lot of values because in terms of what we desire, we then value a whole lot of things. And so in the blog, I talk about if acceptance is important, I talk about what we value. But on the, same, on the flip side, I say, what if our values were higher values or sustainable values? Instead of what we desire being about our program, and oftentimes it's associated with the material world, what if the thing that we desired was peace or stillness? That would mean that what we valued was very different. It would be about social justice, it would be about being merciful and, and displaying forgiveness, it would be about being a peacemaker. And so what uh, this new blog is suggesting is what the, the process is for converting the desires and therefore the values that we align with. And of course, once we've shifted our values, then our experience changes. And ultimately, the experience associated with sustainable values is stillness. Now, there's one core key element that's necessary for that change to happen, and that's awareness. It's absolutely essential that through awareness, you develop the mindfulness to bring about changes to how you function physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. But without the awareness, that mindfulness becomes difficult to sustain. And so that's why the Enhancers Awareness Program is just about that. It's about helping you to develop the awareness in order to make those changes in terms of the things that you desire to bring about changes to your values and therefore your life experience. So uh, it's an interesting blog and once again it's a really informative one. Please um, take time to do the exercise that in it, that's in it because it'll give you the opportunity to identify those things that you value. Um, if you have any questions please email me russell at eapmentor.com and once again, if you want to know more about our program, go to eapmentor.com.